What's up guys, is your Heroes here today and welcome to American Truck Simulator. Um yep, we are in American Truck Simulator as you can see. And today this is gonna be a new series that I'll be doing on a Friday, since you guys have been hard working at school and stuff like that. So I'm gonna make you guys after a long days at work, at school or at work, I'm gonna make you guys nice and relaxed so enjoy get your get your popcorn get whatever you want and you're going to start so this is going to be a new series and it's going to be called casual friday so what this basically is it's going to be me driving an american truck simulator going to different city or places around in the game and i'm going to be talking about different topics like it could be depression it could be a wee bit it could be something about a game it could be anything so I'm going to do that and if you guys want any topics uh, you want me to to say it then just write down, put them down in the comments. So if you don't want more please just subscribe and like and comment below what is your favourite topic you want me to talk about. So today we're going to be going from Elko to LA um, which is in Nevada. I think that is you American people can correct me if I'm wrong. So, today we're going to talk about anxiety. Now, this is this is a big topic and I know it's sad. So, if you guys don't if you guys are not up to listening to it, you don't have to, but I I'm going actually through anxiety which or depression. Those two are completely two different things. So, and it's hard. It, it is really hard. It is really hard going through depression if you're going through it from school or work or if somebody passed away in your family. It's hard, I know. I've I've been through it. I've been through it before and it really is difficult. So I am really sorry if you're going through the times like these. Because you should, you should probably go see a doctor, okay? Um, it's something that is taken very seriously, you know. If somebody says it's like one, if like one of your friends are in school and they're like, and you ask them, "Are you okay today?" and they'll say, "I'm fine," and they look sad, you know they're lying because it's it's just not right of them to say that. And I just missed my turn. I should be paying more attention. And it's really it's really sad. You should always help your friend out if they're going through depression or something like that. Like support them as much as you can, and and if and if and if you think and if you think you're going through depression, um, yourself, ask people to help. Don't don't sit in your room and feel and sit away and don't tell your parents because that's what I did. I locked myself up and didn't want to talk to anyone, and that got me, and that got me absolutely nowhere. So if you do, if you do feel in kind of these conditions, go talk to somebody. It really does help because I did actually go see someone and it did really help. So and I do and I talk to my friends about it as well. They help me through these conditions as well. They say, look, guy, if you ever want to talk, just talk to me, and I'll help you because it's good. Do not keep it in. Do not ever keep it in. Go see a doctor. Talk to your parents because it does always help. So if you are feeling this way, um, I am. I am truly sorry, and I am here to help you guys. I am. I really am. If you are going through these kind of states, I am really here to help because I've been through it myself. Because if if I didn't go through it, I wouldn't be able to say, oh, I feel your pain. I know what it's like. I can't say that, you know, because I wouldn't know what it. I wouldn't know what it's like. So, yeah. Sorry, I got distracted by that thing down there. Uh, so yeah, if you guys are ever feeling sad, just come and just come talk to me. I'm here anytime, and I'm here to help. Don't. Don't feel all, don't feel all, don't feel all crunched up and you know all sad because that doesn't really get you anywhere. Um, it really doesn't. So if you guys do ever want to talk to me, 
I'm I'm here to help. I will always be here to help. Um, yeah, cause you're you're not alone. You are never alone in this. And of course I got, of course, cause police officers. So, yeah, I am I am I am very sorry if you are going through these kind of states. So remember, guys. Just, just talk, talk. Just keep talking. Never hold it in, cause it's not gonna get you anywhere. And I'll tell you the difference between depression and anxiety, because I thought I had depression. I really did think I had depression, and I kept telling my doctor that. I kept telling my teachers that at school. I kept telling my parents that. And when I went to the doctors, they said, "You don't have depression. You have anxiety." No, I'll tell you the difference between the two. So depression is when you feel really, really sad, and you know, and maybe one of your family members passed away, or you know, or you feel really sad because, yeah, that's that's what depression is. You you you're really sad and you don't want to talk to anyone, and you stop eating. You stop eating and you stop talking to your family. I know how it feels because I've been there. And anxiety. So again, remember these are two different things. Anxiety is is when <laughs> it's hard to explain. Anxiety is um hmm. I know. Don't worry. I'll come to me. <laughs> it will come to me. Anxiety is when you don't have you don't have the spirits to go to like to talk to your friends. You know you don't want to, you lose interest in the sports that you do. So let's say you go to like badminton or football um, every week. You know Saturday and Sunday, and you start feeling kind of. Feeling this, feeling this weird thing because maybe one of your parents, maybe one of your parents passed away or one of your grandparents passed away. Anything related, it can make you feel down. And and if you and if you feel that way, you've got anxiety. And you don't want to do anything. So let's say your friends ask you out to say, right, he texts you saying, right, let's go out to the cinema. Do you want to go out to the cinema? He'll say, he'll text you saying, do you want to go out to the cinema with me and whoever, you, whoever you guys got? And you say, well, no, I don't really want to. And you say that every week or every time your friend asks you and you start losing interest in the sports that you do. It, it will just lose you completely. It will, you'll just be dead inside because you don't want to do anything. That's what anxiety is and, and the you can you can see the two differences so if you are feeling that way if you are you know not doing the usual sports that you do or not hanging out with your friends it's it's I used to do that and I sometimes still do it because I feel really sad because my aunt I'm 16 okay and you may think I have no idea what I'm talking about you think I'm just one 16 year old who has you're just I'm just saying stuff because I want to get views and subscribers. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying it because I'm telling the truth, and you, I'm, and I'm here to help. I am always here to help you guys. So, I'm just doing it to help you guys, to help you guys feel better in school, to help you feel, you know, talk to your parents more, talk to anyone. So. It's just, it's really just a matter of fact of just telling someone, and I know I've been over it, but it's always good, because that's what I've been taught, that's what I've been taught, you know, what, yeah, I, that's what I've been taught, you know, you need to, you need to stand up and say, look, right, I'm going to get this sorted, because it's not going to, like I said, it's not going to get you anywhere if you're just, you know, going to sit in your room and play your computer all day. Even though that's sometimes what I do, but it it really doesn't help if you don't talk to anyone because you're gonna get nowhere if you don't speak to someone.
so uh it's it's really is it really is a sad topic to talk about. I mean if you guys go to a doctor at age at a young age, about my age, about sixteen or fifteen and you go through depression or anxiety and you go to a doctor and saying, I shouldn't belong here it's okay because that's what gets you that's what gets you through life. That's what that's what us humans being mean, you know, that's what us humans do. We feel sad, we feel depressed, that's that's part of our growth. That's a way of us learning to kind of get through it. So I am sorry if you go through this. So it's really all a learning a really bad learning experience. Uh, so if you are a young age and and you are going through it, I'm saying it now, I do feel your pain. I really do. And you can come chat to me anytime that you want in the comments below or if you want to message me a Steam or anything, um I will leave it. I'll leave my Steam page in the description or just type in Steam Zero Heroes Eight or RPPK Zero Heroes Eight. So yeah. So that's one topic by the way. Actually there there is another thing I do want to talk about and that is I I checked on Facebook recently on my phone and it's it's while playing American Truck Simulator, it's the anniversary of American Truck Simulator. It's one year. And what in if you read if you actually go into the website on American Truck Simulator, you'll you'll find out that they'll say look it's our one year anniversary and they're bringing out a new DLC and it's the New Mexico DLC and I've seen some pictures of it and it does look really nice well there is if you guys want to have a look I'll leave a description below uh, so you guys can go on the website and check it out for yourselves because it does look really nice so uh, and I've heard that the community is really nice here so I hope you guys do enjoy this video because um, it's all about relaxing. It's a like, it's a casual Friday, you know. It's it's finally the week's done. We can now relax on going to the weekend. So it it's nice. It's nice to do one of these videos in in this calming nice game. And there's a police officer behind me. And that's not very nice. But let's check. Let's see how far we are away. Oh, we're almost there. So that was, that was a good talk. We had a good talk. So yes, American Truck Simulator is at its one year anniversary and they're bringing out the new DLC, New Mexico. So I think that's going to actually be in the Steam page of deal in the DLC. If you look, again I'll leave a description down below if you guys want to check it out. The pictures do look really nice. So we are we have almost reached our destination in LA. So does this actually what America looks like? Is it just is it just deserts and roads? Is it just desert and roads? Is that what it's like in America? Because I've been to America, but only as a baby, and I can't remember that. I've been to Ohio. Now tell me below if Ohio is a nice place. So that's where my cousins live. But is there any other place I should visit in America? Isn't there like 52 states? I think, yeah. So, if you guys want to tell me below what what part of America I should go to, because I've got a feeling that Nevada is only just desert and road like that's it. I'm like driving on like a highway. Or if you get, do you guys call it a highway? Or we we call it, in the UK you call it a motorway. And I think in America you call a highway. Is this is this what is this what a highway looks like? Is it just desert, just nothing? And I presume like it's really hot there. So can this guy go any slower? <laughs> so yeah. So let me see if I can actually overtake this guy. So actually another topic. I want to talk about 
is um, being together as in just stick together as one now you may say to yourself Zero, why are you talking about this? Well, I'm talking about this because when you're when you're mad at a family member you, you think when you're mad at your mum, let's say, and you don't want to talk to her that kind of relationship breaks up for like maybe a day and they say, oh my goodness, I'm sorry so why instead of kind of fighting it out why not you try be together and kind of talk it out because like I said before talking does help so yeah and also I want to talk about oh no so I think we've actually reached Ellie I think we have because we're only going 30 Oh no, we haven't. Oh, okay, I need to go straight on here. Oh yeah, there you go, Ellie discovers. So we're now in Ellie, in the city of Ellie. Very nice. I'll just slow down to the lights. So yeah, as I was saying, is like being together. Don't, don't fight, because you're gonna get nowhere out of it. You're just, you just need to keep talking it out. Because it's good, like I said, and I'm gonna keep saying it, and I'll never stop saying it. You need to talk about it, never ignore it. Because you're gonna get, if you ignore it, let's say, let's say, you you don't. One day you fight with your mom or dad, and you don't ever speak about it. In that later life, in in your later life, that can affect. What what did I just say? That was in English there. Sorry, so let's say one day you're t you have a fight with your mum or dad or both and and you never speak to them again. That can affect your future life. So now let's say like I said, you never speak to them, you move house, you never call them, you never do anything, and then you feel sad about it because you've because you've wished uh, when you were a child you wish you wish you said Oh, I'm sorry mom or I'm sorry dad you know so try stick together as one you know because it's good and it will always help you it will always help you so I think we've just about reached our destination here mm-hmm very nice Mm-hmm. We are almost here. Now <laughs> look at that donkey. What does that say? Hotel Hotel Oh God damn it. I was reading. Hold on, the AI will fix itself, watch. Look I need to make this turn anyway, so so I was getting distracted by that. I'm sorry if I wasn't very professional there. What? That was an amber. That was an amber. Anyway. This is it for... I think we shall wrap this episode up here. I think that was a good... Uh, I think that was... Um, this episode was actually very nice. Very good talk, so... I'll get this vehicle part and then we shall end the video here. So the parking is just over there, just by our left. Left, yeah I think that's right. So let's uh let's make let's park oh let's park this vehicle. This best oh I think we just had it there. Goodness sake. There we go. There we go. Excellent. There we go. I think I think that was an excellent parking as well. Oh, there you go. Level one. I'm on a roll. So, oh, what should we do? Should we do long distance? Let's do long distances. So, oh, one more thing. Let's check out this email. Oh, brand new Kenworth for sale. 
So, guys, this will be it for this video. I like to thank you. I like to thank you very much for watching. Please do subscribe, hit that like button, and also comment below what topic should I talk about in these casual Fridays. So that was episode one. Tell me if you liked it or not, and if you don't like it, I won't. I won't do it. And if you like it, I'll do more of it. It might not be always American Truck Simulator. It might be different games like Euro Truck or Men of War, something or or Counter Strike. Called something like that one of the games i'll come up with so again thank you very much for watching i'll see you guys later bye